Alright, so hello everybody, welcome to my video. In today's video, we're going to work with React Authenticate. So this is the projects will look like. So this is not uh, the final one, but in today we're going to build this one. So this is the login. So we, if we click login, it redirects to dashboard. And if I refresh, or if I open it in another tab, and it's still remember me that I'm locked in so it, it still remember if then I go click lock out and I go for, I come back here if I try to go to dashboard it, it cannot it protect brown so we're going to use a cookie with this one so I hope you like this video and so let's start coding all right so here I'm using VS code so you can use any ticket that you want so in here I'm just creating a project an empty project so here I'm already run it so you can see right here so now I'm gonna make things simple this is um, this form just I'm not validated so I'm just click lock out and go in here I set a cookie and then it stay right there so so let's actually do it so maybe in the next video I will go with it form with firebase or something like that but and today in this video I'm just gonna make things really simple and so let's do it so first I'm gonna create a login component can't lock in for the return so let's actually make um put on okay lock in so put on lock in One more, I'm gonna create the component dashboard. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this one. I'm gonna change name to this one to dashboard. And then we have the button lockout. And we have the H1 as dashboard. Great. So now what I can do is to load it in lock in and dashboard now if I go back okay lock in I'm spell it wrong here should be lock in right so this is what we don't want we don't want to protect this one and then unless we authenticate and we lock in we can see this one so by that we need to use with a uh, router so in here you have to install react routers and there's one more uh, react cookie here we'll leave the link in the description so let's actually do it so first i'm gonna import the react router here so I'm import everything here so then i'm gonna put everything inside the router so router slash router great so then i'm gonna create the route that will go handle all the route so first I'm gonna put this one inside the login now I need to count route equal to this one I'm gonna return the switch so which is have a route that is going to to the pass equal to slash login and then the component is going to be equal to login and we're gonna do this for the dashboard as well great so now I need to put this one in here route okay so now if I go in here and go lock in this way and dashboard right here so then we need to protect our dashboard right here so in order to do that we need to create the uh, protected route so can't protect it route is going 
like as a component so we're gonna return the route and then in here we have a uh, two prop that we're gonna handle so first is component what component we want to render and then it's the rest so this is should place it in the last one if you put in the first it will yell at you as an error so rest and then we're gonna do render let me scroll up so then okay so this way no and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna render the component so we're gonna protect route and then I'm gonna place here so I think that should do exactly the same but we're not actually not protected yet so f in order to protect we need to check authenticate if the user authenticate or not to do that we need to cr I need I'm going to create a state here can os and set os equal to react dot use state. I'm going to set it to equal to four. So to make things a lot easier, I'm going to use contact API here to pass the props. I I don't want to pass the prop down, so I'm using the contact API here and create a file that just uh, use the react and use the contact. API so we just create another file here alongside the app.js so then I'm gonna import this one in so import os API from os API great so now what we need to do is to wrap every router with auth API dot provider and then we get I don't know why my tech editor is right now it's it it's not auto complete and maybe I will set it up later so <laughs> I'm just changing to Ubuntu here so now we're gonna pass the value to is the auth and the, the set auth great so now we're gonna need to use it here so then we're gonna do con auth equal to use contact react use Context and auth API. Great. So then I'm gonna pass the auth right here as a prop to this one. So the auth and, auth and then we need to receive the auth at the bottom. And then we do some logic here. If it auth, we run the component. Else, we going to redirect. lock in great I think yeah so now redirect is not fine I think I'm not imported yet here so now oh great so now I try, try to go to dashboard it's redirect me to the lock in which I spell it wrong right here great if I go lock in it create and then I go to dashboard then great so now I cannot go in so now what I need to do is when I click this one it should me redirect me to the, the dashboard and also remember me as well so then I'm gonna do one more thing I'm gonna do protect the route here so it's exactly the same thing, but I'm call it protect login. Protect login. So in here, I'm gonna chain this with the protect login. And then I'm just put the authenticate as well. Auth dot. Um. Oh no. Auth dot auth. So it, it, it's identical, it's the same. So, but what we need to do is like, it's not us, we run the component. If it's us, we go to the dashboard. All right. So now how we do change the us to true is when we click on login. So here I'm gonna handle on click. And 
and I'll on click here so cons and all on click is equal to so when we have when we click here we're going to set the auth to true so now I'm gonna use the contact API right here as well so when we click we do auth dot set auth to true great I think that should work so now if we go here I click it go me to the locker but if I refresh, it redirects me back to login, which what we don't want. So we need to set the cookie right here. So in order to do that, we need to go to the, this documentation. This GitHub, I will leave the link in the description. We need to import this one into our project. And then, if you see here, it's a lot. It's a great documentation. You can go through and check this one. So here to simplicity i'm gonna use this one cookie set and this is the expire you want to how many day you want to cookie your expire so yeah so i'm gonna just use the simple here so actually when you click login we want to set the cookie value so set the value the username and this is the value should be if they log in true great so now, if you go back, when I click login, if you go to F12, and go to application, go to cookie, you can see this is login. So we need to, our app to read that cookie, and then make it stay true. So to do that in our app, I'm gonna create a call function, read cookie. What this does is like, it, uh, Okay, dot get uh, user. So we can con user equal this one if users. So we can set us um, set us to true. So and and how are we gonna do this one? So in order to do this, we need to call, uh, use use effect react dot use effect. Um, use effect all right okay so when we use this effect we're gonna call it read cookie and that's it so let's actually see how it works uh, can user expect it token ah I see. I'm spell count wrong. So great. So now if I try to refresh, it stay me lock right here. If I go to lock in, it, which is lock in, not lock. <laughs> lock in, it's redirect me to lock in unless I click lock out. So, so now we need to handle on lock out. On click. So we're gonna do handle on click as well. And I want to click, and then what we're gonna do when we click this one, we're gonna do the same thing. So I auth API copy here, and then what I'm gonna do is to set the auth, set the auth to fall, and cookie dot cookie dot remove user. Great. So, us user. So we don't remember user. If I fresh, it stay lock out. Then I go back to lock in. Let's remember that. So, yeah. And if you try to open this close, and then if you open it again, slash dashboard, still gonna remember you because we already stolen cookie. So. I think that's it for this video. I hope you find it useful and I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to subscribe and, and like my channel. And by the way, I want to show you one thing that even though if the cookie here changed, still we're going to remember the user, which we don't want, right? So it means like if 
Wait, so here, let me show you. So one thing, if I try to add the cookie, the new cookie here, it's going to can do that. So I can do document dot cookie. Um, let's say user equal to one two three. I think I'm spelled right wrong. All right, let me find some documents. So um, js document um dot cookie. So in here, if I try to do this, so throw me, and now I change it to user, then I can go to the dashboard. You can see, this is what we don't want. So maybe in the next video, I'm going to tell you how to protect this one. So I think this video has gone long enough, so I hope you guys will check and subscribe me for to see more video and if you have any question or any suggestions leave it down in the comment i would definitely check it out so all right thank you hope you guys have a good day and peace